seen. For much of the 60s, the Mets were the laughing stock of baseball. In 1969, everything changed. Even though it's been 50 years, it's vivid in our minds about how important we were to the city of New York and what we accomplished, being known as the lovable losers to winning the championship. Members of the 69 Mets came together for an autograph signing at Stu Leonard's in Yonkers, a store also celebrating their 50th year. 1969 was important for so many reasons. The Jets won the Super Bowl, the Knicks went on to win the NBA title, and the country was celebrating a man on the moon. We had Woodstock, but also enduring political unrest. It took all of our minds off of Vietnam and other things. I could walk through New York and, and I could see young kids playing in the street saying, I'm Tommy Agee, I'm Tom Seaver. Fans lined up to spend a moment with their heroes and recapture a bit of their youth. The World Series in class screaming when Tommy Agee led off the third game with a home run, getting busted by the teacher because I had a little earpiece in my ear. The players joined forces once again, this time to support one another off the field. Proceeds from the wishing wells at Stu Leonard's will be donated to the Alzheimer's Association, a tribute to legendary Met Tom Seaver, who was recently diagnosed with dementia. Our memories are the most important thing to us, and when we get older like this, you realize it even more. We're not all here, yet we are going to walk together forever because of what happened in 69. Time can never fade the real legacy of this team, unity. In Yonkers, Steve Overmeyer, CBS2 News.